I went through all three Braniffs. Uh, the first Braniff was from, you know, from 65 to 81, and then from uh, from 80, uh, three years or so to 89, and then the very last one was from 89 to 91. Uh, so or something. There was some months, that, not, not quite, uh -huh. but there was, uh, I'm, I'm not quite, quite right on that, but it's pretty close. There so was from about 1965 three. to about 1991? Yeah, that was the last flight, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a, it was, it had become a charter. It was really not a true airline anymore, you know. Um, and where were you, where did you live during all this? Yeah, that's another interesting thing. Yeah. Uh, I was a commuter, hmm. okay. Uh, so when I was flying, of course, um, the military flights, uh, I lived in Dallas, but our flights were out of McGuire, New Jersey, so we would commute up there. I lived in San Francisco, and we went out of Travis, but that wasn't really a hard commute. But the, um, when I came back to Houston, uh, I was flying out of Dallas, so I was um, best friends with Southwest a lot. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if I wasn't flying on Braniff, I was, and Southwest was very nice, very nice to us, you know, the ones of us that were commuting, very nice. Um, so what was your life like outside of being a flight attendant? Did you have family? What, you know, did you have what kind of hobbies did you have? You know, what was kind of your, not too private, but what, you know, what was yeah. your life like outside of work? I, I, you know, the, the airlines just so, you know, if, if you had any extra time, you, you'd go somewhere, you know, it was always all involving the trips, you know, or, or you know, or staying home. I don't know, I, I bought uh, two houses, you know, during that time. And um, I had a Corvette. Oh. Uh, I had a lot of fun. You know. <laughs> uh, we talked about this outside of this, but were you married? No, I didn't. This is an interesting story. In that, okay, um, okay. So on New Year's Eve, I, I just read somewhere or something that the dream I dreamed that night would come true. I dreamed that Brandon went bankrupt. That was in 81. So, uh, but this was more like in 80 or something. So I went down, back to college uh, down at Clear Lake and I took this class because I was trying to decide if I was maybe be a lawyer or what, you know, maybe something. And um, I, I'm sitting there in the second row, you know, A position, second row right in front of the teacher, that's A. And uh, this, this really cute guy walks in and uh, it cut to the chase uh, we've been married 39 years and Braniff went down and he always said I, I wanted I really loved you because I married you and even though we couldn't fly free 